So we'll see how this turns out. Um, just thought I'd make a quick two, three, four, five, ten minute video. Because um, a lot of these are about documenting history, you know. Tomorrow is the anniversary of the Hurricane Katrina. And I thought I'd give you my historical background on that. Uh, at that time, and I'm going to call them out. They want to sue me, they can sue me. I was working for uh, Lear Corporation, uh, an auto parts manufacturer up in uh, Michigan. Um, I had just gotten back from the war, fighting for our country in Iraq. And, uh, you know, I called the Red Cross and... At that time, I had outfitted myself with, uh, well, I mean, back then when the dollar meant something, $3,000 worth of backpacking equipment. And the Red Cross at that time, uh, if you recall, um, was looking for people that could survive uh, on their own. You know, I had my water filters, I had everything i had the sleeping bag i told him i said you know and they, and and the roads uh were completely blocked at that time and it was chaos and there were people murdering people and it was if you recall the silver dome was just packed uh, you know if you don't study history you won't even remember what that was like um and so they said, well, you know, we, we've got volunteers going down there, but they're becoming refugees themselves because there's no electricity. There's no power. You know, they don't know how to survive on their own. And I said, man, I am your dude. I said, I'm in great shape at that time. I was a physical. Well, imagine me being physically fit. <laughs> I know that sounds stupid. But, I, you know, so I, I said, you know, this is this is my moment. This And so. I, I talked to the corporate leadership there at Lear Corporation and I said, look, you know, I'm, I, you don't need to pay me. I don't want any money. I said, but uh, I've talked to the Red Cross and I want to go down. Uh, there, there were a lot of dead bodies, a lot of dead bodies that uh, just needed to be thrown up on the trucks and um, gotten out. And they said it was going to be a horrible, horrible situation. And I said, well, hey, I'm your man. I'm your man, you know. And uh, so corporate, I mean, they came down on me. They came down on me hard. They said, no, no, if you go down there to help the people of uh, New Orleans, um, we're going to fire your ass. And not only will we fire your ass, we will post that you're a complete uh, uh, bad person for leaving your job uh, here at Lear Corporation. I mean, what do you, what do, you do at that point? You know, you got to make a living. At that time, I didn't have, well, he, even today, I don't have, you know, huge amount of funds or anything, but I'm a little bit better off today, 20 years later than I was back then. So why am I making this video? I just kind of wanted to um, talk about what's about to take place again. You got a major, major storm uh, coming in. And and now it's even worse because you've got, uh, you, you, well, you Democrats, you voted Biden into office. And uh, do you think that the government's going to be there to help all these people in Louisiana and New Orleans? And, you know, they're talking about 24 inches of rain. And not only that, I mean, we got to look at what's going on in Afghanistan. I mean, now we got another major attack that may be happening. You know, you wonder why I just go hiking? <laughs> it's because I can't even wrap my head around the stupidity of our woke generals. Now, can you imagine a woke general? Now, if you were, now, let me just ask you as a common sense person, all right? And, and, and I'm just saying if I was in charge, do you think there's not a young person in the military that wouldn't go over there and take out some Taliban uh an ISIS uh, terrorist in a second if they were given the authorization. But yet the Biden administration lacks the backbone to even do that. This is what you voted for, you idiot Democrats? I mean, I'm not trying to get political with these videos. Well, I guess I am. I mean, I can't believe how stupid people are. I mean, even back then, I mean, imagine 16 years ago when you had somebody that had 
all the equipment, everything that I needed, and the Red Cross begging me. Now, if I had any backbone at all back then, I would have quit that job and just told them, screw you, I'm going to go help the people down in New Orleans. And I didn't do it. And I tell you what, there's not a day that goes by in my life that I don't regret that decision. Because back then, jobs were easy to come by. And, uh, and eventually, what was ironic is eventually in 2006, they laid me off. So in the end, I didn't help the people after Katrina. And in the end, I lost my job. Of course, I found a job and two weeks later, and uh, it was a good job. And it wasn't until I got cancer that things flipped upside down. And of course, we had the 2008 uh, catastrophe with the real estate market and everything. So I just thought, I don't know what I want with this video, but I just kind of wanted to talk about things because tomorrow is going to be a tragic day in American history. I, we, we may get attacked again in Afghanistan. More Americans are going to lose their lives. I bet a lot of people are going to get wiped out by this hurricane. They're going to lose their property. They're going to lose their, some people are going to lose their lives. Um, it's a big day. It's a big day in American history. And, um, well, and, and as you know, I mean, we're stepping up the game. I've, I've got this Samsung Galaxy S21 woo, Ultra on order. Um, so we'll start trying to make some better videos. And um, I, at this point, I mean, that's all I can do. I don't, I don't have any political power. I don't have any influence over anybody. Hell, I don't even have many friends, you know, because all I do is go hike and I don't even want to be around people because everybody's flipped out about the damn COVID virus. You, you would think it's the end of the gosh dang world from what most people think. So I guess that's it. Um, I, peace out, right? Stay free, and uh, I, I think I'm going to just start doing this with everybody. Freedom! Oh, freedom! And that's what you got to do. You got to stay free, people. All right, that's it.